Hey, what's up guys, Sandman back with another figure review and we're gonna be taking a look at the Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman figure from the Collect and Connect Grapnel Blaster Replica. So this is a six inch version, maybe even seven inch from the Multiverse line. Wonder Woman is the harder figure to get. So when they, uh, when these figures, figures first hit stores, um, several Toys R Us's I went to and they opened up the boxes several of the multiverse boxes and they had no Wonder Woman's to be found. That was a few Toys R Us's I went to. Now, I guess they're short boxed or something. Uh, they're not, because some Toys R Us's were even saying they're not even carrying it, but they said the same thing about the 12 inch um, Wonder Woman as well. But I went to Amazon.com as soon as I got home and she was on there for $19.99. So I got this figure for $21.50 like shipped and it came in in two days. So. Uh, really happy that I got her. Didn't have to go toy hunting for her. And I know Frank and Sons, they did have her over there as well. But um, so she comes with a grapnel piece as well. And then she's got her sword her sword and her shield. So this is really cool. So you got an image right there of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Right there on the side as well. You got Gal Gadot. And then we have all four figures now. And so we're going to see what we can connect and collect. Collect and co connect and collect. You know what I'm saying for the grapnel piece right here. So let's go ahead and open up Wonder Woman and see how cool she is. And then we're going to have the Trinity right here in um, figure form. So let's go ahead and open her up. So here's a quick little 360 look at the Wonder Woman figure from the multiverse line. Now, again, it is pretty much the same version as the 12 inch, except she comes with accessories. And this one looks a little bit more like Gal Gadot. I like the head sculpt better on this one, but here's a quick little 360 look. It's got her shield, which is very awesome. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Wonder Woman. All right, so we're gonna look at the accessories she comes with. Now, she comes with this piece right here of the Collect and Connect, so she does come with a base. All I thought she came with was a rod from looking at the pictures, but this is all she comes with. So we have this right, as far as the base goes, we have all this right here. So that's it. So we got to, now we have to wait for all the other figures to get anything to try to even put the gun together in any way. So I'm going to tell you this before we get into the, the whole shield and everything. Um, the shield has to go on the right arm. I'm pretty sure it has to for all the figures. I'm not saying that just mine because if you put it on the left arm, the, the, um, the eagle or the bird right there is going to be upside down. So it has to go on the right arm. So there you go. So here you go. Here is the sword, which actually looks pretty nice for, um, you know, for Mattel making. It's got some writing right there. And it also has writing that says made in China. And it's got writing on the other side as well. It's not sharp at all. Well, it's a little sharp, but you can break it if you bend it. And then there's the, um, the handle right there. You can see that has a little bit of detailing as well. So that's pretty good. And she does hold this very nicely. Shield is something I really like. Now this has some really good detailing on it, especially, especially like in the rim. You can see it's got some like writing and stuff. And this is all texture. This is all sculpted. Like everything about it is sculpted. So it's got very, very nice detailing on it. And then she has this on the back right here, which is also great. So this is all sculpted on, very cool. So her hand goes through here and then she grips on this part at the end. So very cool, but look at the, the paint applications and everything on this, man, they're just very, very nice. So the shield is a really cool piece. So here is Wonder Woman, not a bad looking figure. I still can't really say it looks like Gal Gadot, but um, you know, it is what it is. It, it, to me, it looks better than the 12 inch version because the 12 inch one did not look like her at all. But um, the head sculpt looks great. So you got like her tiara right there up top. It's all sculpted, so it looks great. And then you have the, um, the hair sculpting on here. The hair is sculpted very nicely as well. So it's gonna be the same exact thing as the um, 12 inch version. So I'm trying to see, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be able to turn her head because of the hair. Nope, it's not even a really soft material. It's just plastic. So you're not gonna be able to get her head in any kind of, um, you can't get it to turn, but she's got lipstick on. Nice, nice facial features, I guess. And then you have her straps all right here, which is all sculpted separately, much like the 12 inch version. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you can put the sword right through here. Hopefully it doesn't break. Yeah, I think you can put the sword there. It looks pretty good. So you got a little strap right there for the sword, but I don't think there's anything to put the shield on or to mount on like on her back or anything. But again, so all this is sculpted on. You got the lasso of truth right there. Maybe eventually uh, Mattel will give us one of her maybe using one or something once we see you know more of the film. Um, you got the little skirt right here with the W, so that's all sculpted on there as well. It's a great looking figure, man. I mean, even the, the, the top part of her outfit you can see all the designs that are sculpted on. 
So very, very cool. So she so shows a lot of skin. Uh, you have right here the entire arm and some of the, uh, you know, the, the arm bracelets she has there and then the forearm guard, the wraps around the hands. And then here, right here, you can see the straps on them. And then there's this arm right here. So again, you can see some of the, the detailing on them. So that's pretty cool. But the outfit is very nice. On um, this, you can see the little design right here where the lasso of truth is. And then right here is a back shot of her skirt. Just so you guys can get a close up like on the, on the designs on it, you guys can appreciate it. It is a very nicely sculpted figure. And then you have the lower legs right here and then the boots, the very high boots. She does have like knee pads it looks like because in the back you can see there is um, sculpting, or I'm not sculpting, I'm sorry, straps. And then you can see the straps on the boots. And she also has skin showing on the side of the boots right there. So you can see there is some straps that are holding it together. And then the top, a look at the boots. And the bottom, no no, uh, no um, peg holes. But she does have some uh, really cool detailing also in the boots. You can see all that right there. Very nice. This is a really cool thing. The way of Wonder Woman's articulation, unfortunately you can't get the head to rotate because of the hair. Um, the arms do go in and out, forward and back. You got rotation at the upper arm. A bend at the elbow, lower arm rotation, and the hand can rotate. Rotation at the waist, legs go they don't go in and out too much. They go forward and back, bend at the knee, mid leg rotation, and the foot goes up and down. So kind of limited in articulation, but I mean, she still looks cool, but I think you would want Wonder Woman to have a little bit more articulation. So here you have a kind of like a side by side look at the 12 inch version and the um, uh, seven inch version right here, a little comparison of the head sculpt. And somebody mentioned in the comments, she does, she, this one does look oiled up and she kind of does. And there you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman vs Superman Collect and Connect uh, Grapnel Gun Wonder Woman. So this is the figure that's everyone's going to be probably after. She's a uh, short package, so definitely go to Amazon.com, guys, to pre-order her. If not, well, actually, you know what? BigBadToyStore.com actually sold out on her on the single single card it if you want or if you want to want to purchase her alone but if you want to get the set you can purchase it on bigbadtoystore.com click on the link in the description if not head over to amazon.com because it's only 19.99 but here is the trinity guys for the batman versus superman movie these are all the three figures stand by stand side by side so excited for um the new figures that came out in this line. So we're only, uh, what, like two months, a little over two months away for the Batman vs Superman movie. I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, figure. Did you guys pick them up? And what do you guys think about all three of them together? I think it looks great. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.